Thank you so much for coming to our anniversary celebration. It gives us great joy to see so many friends and family, colleagues, employees here. I have a few things to say, um, some people to thank. I do have a script on my iPad. It has been reviewed, so this will not take too long. Okay? The beginning of Lenten Company actually started in the 1970s when my dad, Bob Lenton, left aerospace and started Bob's Handyman. I had my first paying construction job in 1976 when I was 16 years old, and I worked for a trim carpenter in, I'm losing Thousand Oaks, <laughs> I should forget. In 1984, my dad married Sheila, and she was responsible for turning this hobby into a business. So that's why we are celebrating today, because she decided, she's here, there she is, <laughs> that that's when Lenten Company started, is in 1984. <laughs> he passed away suddenly in 1988, and I returned to the AV with a toddler and one on the way. I was out of state. She and I were business partners for over 30 years, until she retired in 2018. Kendall, my daughter, joined temporarily in 2010. <laughs> More about her later. <laughs> Evelyn joined as co-owner in 2018 after a long career in education. Over the last 40 years, we have rolled with the crazy Southern California economy, surviving four recessions, doing light commercial and residential construction. In the early 2000s, we became design build, designing what we build. In 2023, we created Bob Jobs. With a nod toward my dad, we formalized this small job division. We have um, formalized a small job division, sorry. We have won AV's best 12 times. Maybe more. Thank you, Lori. She's still here. <laughs> Can't tell you. Um, we've won Best of LA Times Southland for two years. And we've won Best of Howes for 10 years. I have a lot of people to thank, but I'm going to do it in groups. And I'm going to call out some special people. I would first like to thank our customers. You trusted us to tear apart your house and put it back together better than it was before. This little business has supported many families, including my own. I sent two kids to college. I built this beautiful house. It took me 30 years to build this house. So believe me, I know what it means to go through a remodel. There are 24 tons of rocks in that wall. <laughs> And Evelyn and I place 90% of them. All right. While we value all our past customers, I would like to thank all that are here today. You are in a very special category. If you got an invitation, that means we must like you. <laughs> we have had friends that have become customers, and we have many customers that are now our friends. I would like to acknowledge one special past customer. Jack is here, Jack Cephas. My dad worked on his Antelope Valley branch, bank branches right after they opened. I then remodeled all the branches many times over. Usually getting a call from his operations manager, Shirley, at any time of the day or night to say to fix something. We've also added on and remodeled his home many times. Yes. We still go over and fix little and big things. In fact, we were just there last week because for some reason, his wife does not want him to be on a ladder at 80-something years old. He is a very special friend and customer. Thank you, Jack. <clears throat> the Lenten Company team includes many people that do not get a paycheck from Lenten Company. Our bankers our lawyers, accountants, human resources, public relations firms, marketing companies, consultants, insurance agents, photographers, videographers, and others help us prosper and have kept us in line. 
One person I'd like to acknowledge, he's actually not here because I had the mistake of doing this before tax season is over, but he can watch the video, is Scott Evans, our CPA. Evelyn and I went to high school with Scott, so yes, this is still a small town. Another is Teresa Todd, our public relations person who helped put on this event. Thank you, Teresa, wherever she is. There she is. Thank you. <clears throat> we have uh, learned from other remodeling companies from outside the AV. Ken and Ellen are here from Davis, California. We went up there last year to cel celebrate just their 20-year anniversary. And we're honored they made the trip down for Davis today. So thanks, guys. <clears throat> Our material suppliers now sometimes seems like faceless conglomerates. We don't just go around the corner to the little lumber yard anymore, but we have many representatives visit us and help us and keep us up to date on what's available, like Andrew from MSI, who's here. Somewhere. <clears throat> Over there. I would next like to acknowledge and thank our subcontractors. Sometimes we call them trade partners. Um, Without them, we could not build such beautiful projects. Demolition crews, tile setters, electricians, plumbers, drywallers, painters, and others know the quality that we expect. We treat them well, we pay them on time, and they deliver quality craftsmanship. There is one person I would like to pay special tribute to. When some hear me say that my dad used his dad, they know that I'm talking about Tony Newton. Tony is our plumber. A long, long time ago, when we were both kids, <laughs> Tony's dad, Dale, was considering retirement. And Tony had no intention of staying in the business. He told me, like, why would I want to do this? Well, 40 years later, we're both here. <laughs> Ask any current or former employee, and they say, Tony is our favorite sub. Sorry for the other guys that are here, but Tony's <laughs> our, Tony is our favorite. <clears throat> he gets us prices on time. He shows up when he says he does. He does work. He does his work, and he doesn't bill us until the end of the project, which drives my wife crazy. She would like progress payments. Thank you, Tony, for all that you do. I don't even know where he is. He's somewhere. <clears throat> there he is. Oh, he's back there. Thanks, Tony. We have had many employees over the years. Our current team are dedicated, and they take our core values, spelling out stride to heart. This is not an easy business, and it can get stressful. Not all our past customers have become friends like you. <laughs> Besides just making a paycheck, we get to change people's lives in a positive and impactful way. I would like to personally thank Allison, who does our um, AR input. Carrie, who is back. Everybody said hi to Carrie. She's back. Thank you. Sherea, who does our ordering. Justin, who's in, one of our remodelers. Carla, one of our designers. Kendall, my daughter. We'll talk, talk about her in a minute. <laughs> Levi, one of our remodelers. Lizella, our build manager. Matthew, our estimator. And Nate, one of our remodelers. Just thank you all for the current team we have. Can't do it without you. I'd like to give a special thanks to Justin. He took a break from Lenten Company, and he recently returned. We are so glad he did. As many of you know, he deeply cares about his work and the people around him. Thanks again, Justin. <clears throat> in a family business, all your family is involved. And I'm not just talking about my immediate family. I have a lot of family here today, and they have asked over the years, how's it going? Are you busy? Is everything okay? <clears throat> some family have been customers. Some families have been employees. Some have been both, like my sister-in-law Leslie's here. My brother David in law, my brother in law David, he's not here today. He did actually worked for a short while for us. He had passed out of dental school, but he was waiting for his California license, so he installed windows for us. <clears throat> my nephew Kyler's here. He worked for a very short time until he figured out that this was not the career he wanted, but we still paid him and helped him go to Europe that year. <clears throat> my stepsister Jocelyn is our now our HR consultant. She's here. My two brothers, Scott and Wade, worked for my father and me. Neither of us were easy to get along with. My father, a bit more so. At some point, they decided that working for the company was too hard 
and not in their future, so they took the easy way out and they joined the Marines. <laughs> it's a true story. They're both here. You can ask them. They are now both very successful in their own career. Scott is in construction and Wade is in law enforcement. I'm so proud of them. Thanks, guys. Sheila was my business partner for 30 years. I only refer to her as my stepmom just to kind of define the relationship. But really, she was and is still a friend. She helped keep this business healthy and proper, prosperous for many, many years. Her husband, Carlos's company, Penny Lane, was our largest customer for many years. So thank you, Sheila and Carlos. <laughs> <clears throat> I love my granddaughter. <laughs> my kids grow, grew up knowing the difference between a remodel and a tenant improvement. <laughs> they know what a Makita is. And that working in this crazy business is not always fun, but can be rewarding. They lived through many remodels in this house, and we didn't finish it until long after they left the nest. I can talk to my oldest, Taylor, about anything. She is a good sounding board. She also gave me my one and only grandchild, Arden. Her husband, Justin, <laughs> her husband, Justin, marvels how Taylor and I dive into projects at their condo without reading the instructions. <laughs> Kendall didn't plan on working so long in the company. It was a temporary thing, starting about 10 plus years ago until she would figure out what she wanted to do. There are many days that she wishes she went into the Marines, <laughs> but she is still here and so glad when her mom became part of the company. Kendall is now designing projects, giving an outlet for her creative side. She is our go-to problem solver. She continues to try new things and to further education in landscape and horticulture. She has a side gig as a pet sitter, if anybody's interested, and she's in high demand. Thanks, Kendall. That just leaves one more person to recognize and thank, and that's obviously my wife, Evelyn. We met 46 years ago, and we'll celebrate our dating anniversary next weekend. The following weekend, we will celebrate our 40th wedding anniversary. While being at the Santa Clarita Home Show, <laughs> we are working on our anniversary. We're going to be at the Santa Clarita Home Show trying to get leads. Okay? We will then spend some time in our new trailer. Thank you, Mike and bring our tandem bike. Evelyn has had many careers, graphic artist, homeschool mom, kindergarten and first grade teacher, adult educator, and now co-owner of Lenten Company. It's not the journey that she first envisioned, but her motto of bloom where you are planted embodies her attitude and dedication. She is a lover of art, music, knitting, and the best grandma around. I love her with all my heart. Aww. Working with your spouse can be challenging. I know that she wants what is best for all around her, and she usually puts others before herself. So thank you, dear. Again, thank you all. I think we have, I know we have, some local dignitaries that might have some kind words to say. I'm sorry, it's raining. Be They'll be kind. <laughs> and um, I have, see, Teresa's on it. Okay, so first, I would like to call up Jackie Owens, who represents Congressman Mike Garcia. And before she grabs the mic, or she can tell the story of her lovely daughter, um, in, sorry, sorry. Okay, so Jackie is here, and her lovely daughter interned for us for a very short time uh, before she went into, and now she's a landscape architect. So here you go, Jackie. Well, congratulations. And, and first, let me just start out by saying uh, a heartfelt greetings from Congressman Mike Garcia. And uh, this is such a proud moment for the Lenten family, but for our community. You've spent four decades uh, building beautiful things and being part of our community. And long before I, I got to work for the congressman, I had a friend, uh, Bruce McPherson, who was a uh, architect. And they, they got to collaborate on a couple of projects together. And the feedback, that was the first of many, where it was Rob Lenton and Lenton Company is quality. They're the place to go. 
and it is clear that this is not just a job. It, your signature, your values, your, your, who you are is built into every project, and that means so much to, to our community and to certainly building a, a steadfast legacy of 40 years. And you're not done, and you're not done. Kendall, I'm not sure. No, I don't. Have you given a, Arden, have you gotten a hammer yet? <laughs> and Sheila, you're a legend. Thank you. Thank you for, for all that you do. So please accept, uh, on behalf of Congressman Garcia, this certificate. But let me just say this. Size doesn't matter because <laughs> my colleagues are going to come after me. And they're going to have something a little bigger, maybe a little bit more colorful. But it doesn't matter because this comes with a lot of love and a lot of appreciation. For <laughs> and we're, we're fiscal conservatives. And <laughs> So uh, thank you, everybody, for being here to celebrate this momentous occasion. And thank you again. Yeah, we're just gonna come on. We're just gonna take the rain over here, but we'll let Donna go first. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I am Donna Hill. I am uh, district director for Senator Scott Wilk, and greetings from Senator Scott Wilk. But I want to say, firstly, when you think of community and family, clearly you think of Linton Company. It's amazing the things that they've done. Their house is awesome, and this is the best outdoor rainy day event I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of fiscally conservative, I think we also fit the bill. We have a presentation. It's from three offices. So we are your taxpayer dollars are safe with the state of California. All right. So I'm going to pass to my partner here. Hi, everyone. My name is Anna Zarley. I am a field rep for Assemblyman Tom Lackey, 34th District. And I think we go way back. <laughs> Kendall's looking like, yep, yeah. when, when I left and I came back. And, but on behalf of Assemblyman Lackey and my heart, thank you. Thank you for all you do for our community. It's people like you that keep our community what it is. And we know it's not easy to do work in California any longer. But look, at you guys made it through COVID, which I believe might have been one of your busiest times because a lot of people were redoing their homes. But we just want to say thank you. Thank you for all you do. Hello, everybody. My name is Isla. I'm a field representative for Assemblymember Juan Carrillo. And it is an honor to be here to celebrate the Lenten Company's 40th anniversary. And on behalf of Assemblymember Carrillo, Congratulations on the significant milestone, and here's to 40 more. <laughs> and now the presentation of this wonderful thing for all three have signed, as Senator Scott Wilk, Assemblyman Tom Lackey, and Assemblyman Juan Carrillo. So, good evening. My name is Chuck Bostwick. I'm here representing Los Angeles County Supervisor Catherine Barger. She represents the North County, including the Antelope Valley on the Board of Supervisors in Los Angeles. Uh, it was an honor for her to be invited here. She wanted to be here, but she was actually on a delegation with the rest of the board to Washington, D.C. this week, so I'm here on her behalf. Um, I've lived in the Antelope Valley a long time, almost as long as the London Company has been here, and I'll tell you, to survive through the Antelope Valley last 40 years is quite an accomplishment. Of those two recessions, of those four recessions, two of them were quite scary, I can tell you. 
uh, and any s small business that survived those is, was being run the right way. So on behalf of Supervisor Barger, uh, for the Lenten Company, we have, um, so everybody ta else talked about their fiscal uh, uh, census. Uh, we have a hand calligraphy sc uh, scroll done by a couple of little old guys who've worked for the county for many, many, many decades uh, and are still turning them out for us. So, so thank you, sir. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> it's me again. Hi. So, so I'm going to switch my head around, and now I'm here to represent um, the Antelope Valley Chambers of Commerce. And we would like to thank you for being one of our best members. <laughs> so on behalf of the um, AV Chamber, thank you very much. Yeah, we've only been a member since 1993. Uh, just, just, just new. Okay, um, it's raining. You are welcome to come inside my house. <laughs> there is still lots more food. There's still a lot more cookies. You can stay as long as you want. We'll be here for a while. I got a lot of family here.